What's up folks and welcome back to the 6 Hour Guides YouTube channel and today we're going to be continuing on with our Let's Play series of Detroit Become Human and right now we're following Connor as he visits Amanda once again and I think that she's going to be a little bit pissed that we let the last android go in favor of saving Hank. At the end of the day I don't really think it matters what happens with Amanda I just think you don't want to get to the point where she loses all confidence in you and replaces you with another android but I want to stay on the path of creating a deviant out of Connor. So I think that's going to be the coolest ending for him. Hello, Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. Pity you didn't manage to capture it. I agree. I may not be suited for this investigation. Maybe you should consider replacing me. Did you manage to learn anything? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. What else? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with the Lieutenant developing? He seemed grateful that I saved his life on the roof. He didn't say anything, but he expressed it in his own way. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this, whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Look for Lieutenant Anderson. Not a bad house. Let's see if we can just knock on the door. Lieutenant Anderson! Anybody home? Find a way inside. Hey, there's Sumo. Oh shit. Looks like he passed out. Lieutenant Anderson. Easy sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. Sumo wouldn't hurt a fly. He's just a big baby. Hank's just passed out. Probably not a big deal for him, considering he's an alcoholic. Oh, but I think there's a gun there. Maybe he's not okay. Black Lamb, Scotch Whiskey, 40% alcohol content. Revolver, Magnum, one bullet remaining. Heart. No signs of trauma. And he's alive. That's good. Traces of alcohol. 
Yeah, he's just drunk. No big deal. Lieutenant. Wake up, Lieutenant. It's me, Connor. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey, you have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be you fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here. Sumo, attack. Good job. Attack. Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. What the hell are you doing? <coughs> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. Homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? Unfortunately, I cannot. I've been programmed to investigate this case, and I can't do it without you. I don't give a shit about your goddamn case. Lieutenant. You're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. Okay, now we have to find some clothes for Hank. He's got a weird style, that guy. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Let's go with Hippie. Hank is the definition of a functional alcoholic. He's always a little bit drunk, or in this case, very drunk, and still manages to do his job relatively well. minutes, okay? Sure. Oh boy, he is not going to be able to do anything at this crime scene. But then again, we pretty much do all the work. Autumn Blues, Michigan Brothers. Hank loves jazz. Many experts are suggesting the specter of a third. Anything else over here? Oh, we can pet Sumo. We should definitely check out the kitchen next because that's where he was getting drunk and had the gun in his hand. And I think that he was playing Russian roulette based on the title of this chapter. Ooh, what is this? Deceased, Cole Anderson. Ah, shit. So he died three years ago.
and it's best that we don't bring that up at all. What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Wanted to see how long I could last. Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. <laughs> 